Hello, bookies and booklaroos. It's that time of the month where we go over my, uh, my, oh my god, I've been saying October in place of different months this whole year, and October's almost over, and I guess I had to get one more out, but I meant to say November anticipated um, books that are coming out, obviously in November. I don't know where I'm going with this sentence. Anyways, I'm not going to cut it because I am short on time. i got to watch a friend live stream. Here they are. So the first one that is coming out is Empress of All Seasons by Emiko Jen. Um, and the book is releasing November 6th. And the synopsis sounds really good. And I actually have um, a galley of this from NetGalley. And it says, um, each generation a competition is held to find the next Empress of Han Hanako. Hanako? The rules are simple. Survive the palace's enchanted seasonal rooms. Conquer winter, spring, summer, and fall. Marry the prince. All are eligible to compete. All except yokai, supernatural monsters and spirits whom the human emperor is determined to enslave and destroy. Mary has spent a lifetime training to become empress. Winning should be easy, and it would be if she weren't hiding a dangerous secret. Mary is a yokai with the ability to transform into a terrifying monster. If discovered, her life will be... Uh, Oh, okay. Her life will be forfeit. And I'm like, wait, is that meaning the game now? Her life will be forfeit, too, as well as the game. <laughs> as she struggles to keep her her identity hidden, Marie and Marie's fate collides with that of Taro, the prince who has no desire to inherit the imperial throne, and Akira, Akira, Akira? Uh, a half-human, half-yokai outcast. Torn between duty and love, loyalty and betrayal, vengeance and forgiveness, the choice of Marie, Tor uh, Taro, and Akira will decide the fate of Hanako in this beautifully written edge of receipt YA fantasy. That sounds like it's going to be freaking gorgeous as crap. Uh, <laughs> and I can't wait to read it. Um, I think I'm going to try to start it in November. I don't know. I've got like a huge pile of books over here. This book that I am anticipating coming out on November 6th is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Wynn. I loved, love, love this book. Five out of five. Definitely recommend. Um, if you don't know what this book is about, it is about, um, well, you know, I'm just going to read the synopsis. <laughs> Lei, who is our main character, is of the paper cast, the lowest and most oppressed class in Ak Ak Akara? I'm not good with names. Even so, rumors of her golden eyes have piqued the king's interest, and she is ripped from her home and taken to the opulent but oppressive palace. Her life now beholden to his every whim. But Lei, dreaming of escape, does the unthinkable. She falls in love. Her forbidden romance, enmeshed with an explosive plot that threatens the king's reign, will force Lei to decide how far she's willing to go for her freedom. Um, I will say that there is a trigger warning for um, rape and sexual violence. So if those things really upset you, this might not be the book for you to read. Um, if you can read about that stuff, uh, definitely pick this up. It is amazing. has a wonderful LGBT um, rep. Um, definitely, definitely my, one of my favorite reads of 2018. The next one, which is also the February um, Butterfly Reading uh, Book Club thingamabobber thing that I host every month uh, that I keep forgetting the name for. Uh, the read for that month for February 2019 is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. Um, if you don't know, if you've been living in a hole, Renegades was the first book of the series and it was fucking fantastic, I will, I swear. And so I have high hopes that uh, Arch Enemies is just as good. Um, so the, whoop, the Renegades uh, trilogy continues in this fiercely awaited second installment after the New York Times bestselling Renegades author. Blah, 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 blah. Time is running out. Together they can save the world, but they each, uh, but they are each other's what, uh, worst nightmare. Yeah. They... <laughs> Time is running out. Together they can save the world, but they are each other's worst nightmares. In Renegades, Nova and Adrian, aka Insomnia and Sketch, fought the battle of their lives against the anarchists known as the Detonator. It was a short-lived vic victory. The anarchists still have a secret weapon, one that Nova believes will protect her. The Renegades also have a strategy for overpowering the anarchists, but both Nova and Adrian understand that it could mean the end of Gatlin City and the world as they know it. And that is releasing on November 6th as well. November 6th is like going to be like the hot 
day of this month for getting uh, new books. The next book I'm excited to see releasing in November is Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine. Um, I am going to try to read this in November again. I can't guarantee anything. Um, but this synopsis sounds really good. It says, Sylvie, uh, Sylvie? has always known that she deserves more. Out of the permanent twilight of the Dustlands, the Sisters of Sisons taught her how, that her legacy, her power to create illusions, was a curse. But Sil uh, Sylvie knows that it entitles her to a place on the corridor. Cor Put it right here. The, pal the palace of the Ember Empress and her highborn legacies. And so Sylvie sets off towards the Amber City, a, gl a glittering jewel under a sun that never sets to take what is hers. But her hope to for a better life at court is quickly dimmed. The Empress uh, Sylv Sil Sivirin? Sivirin? invites her in to only as part of a cruel wager among her beautiful and powerful courtiers. Sylvie must assume a new name, Mirage, and work to hone her magic. She begins to navigate a secretive social circles and join deadly games of intrigue in order to claim her spot in court. And soon it becomes apparent that things are not as they appear. However, no one including her cruel yet captivating sponsor Sunder will answer her questions. As Mirage strives to siege what should be her rightful place, she'll have to consider whether it's worth the price she will have to pay. Uh, Aside from the words that are really hard to pronounce, it sounds really, really good, and I am definitely excited to read it. All right, the next one that I um, have a galley of from NetGalley is Outrun the Wind by Elizabeth Tammy. The synopsis, uh, <laughs> big synopsis, so big breath. All right, the huntresses of Artemis must obey two rules, never disobey the goddess and never fall in love. After being rescued from a harrowing life as an oracle of Delphi, so this book has a, like a lot of Greek mythology. Um, uh, Kahin, Kahi, what's with these weird names? Kahina, don't know. Call me, call her Catherine for, for right now because that's easier to pronounce. Is glad to be a part of this hunt. Living among a group of female warriors gives her a chance to reclaim her strength, even while her prophetic powers linger. But when a routine mission goes awry, Catherine. That, that's not her name, but that's what I'm calling her. Breaks the first rule in order to save the legendary huntress. I can't pronounce this word. I'm putting these words like on the bottom. I'm going to pronounce this chick's name as Atlanta. <laughs> to earn back Artemis' favor, Catherine must compete at... <laughs> you want to try to pronounce these? No. no. <laughs> Catherine must complete a dangerous task in the kingdom of Arcadia. I can pronounce that one, where the king's daughter is revealed to be none other than, I don't know how to pronounce her name, but I'm calling her Atlanta. Still reeling from her disastrous quest and her father's insistence on marriage, Atlanta isn't sure what to think of Catherine. As her connection to Atlanta deepens, Catherine finds herself in danger of breaking Artemis' second rule. She helps Atlanta devise a dangerous game to avoid marriage and word spreads throughout Greece attracting suitors willing to tempt fate to go up against Atlanta in a race for her hand. But when the men responsible for both of the girls start past arrive, the game turns deadly. That's a lot <laughs> to take in. Uh, but it sounds really, really good and it's coming out on November 27th. Um, the next one that seems like a really good sci-fi book, uh, and you know how much I like sci-fi, is the, Spl uh, la, la, la. the Splintered Silence by Kayla Olson. It reads, Lindsay Hamilton has been the leader of the space station Lucia, Lu Lus Luska, Luska, since every first generation crew member on board, including her mother, the commander, were killed by a deadly virus. Sorry, her name's not Lindsay, it's Lindley. Because we can't, we can't have simple names. Lindley always assumed she'd captain the Luska one day, but she never thought that day would come so soon. And she never thought it would be like this. Struggling to survive every day, learning how to keep the Luska running. 
figuring out how to communicate with Earth and making sure they don't run out of food. When a member of the surviving second generation dies from symptoms that look just like the deadly virus, though, Lindley feels her world's drinking even smaller. The disease was supposed to be over. The second generation was supposed to be immune. But as more people die, Lindley must face the terrifying reality that either the virus has mutated or something worse is happening. One of their own is a killer. And that is coming out on November 13th. The next book that I have is Toxic. Not to be confused with the Britney Spears song, uh, but this one is by Lydia, Lydia, yeah, Lydia Kang, and it reads, Cyclo, the first and largest biological sip of its kind, is dying. A small crew of mercenaries has handed over the rights to their life to document the death of the ship, but the abandoned ship is anything but abandoned. One girl has been left behind. Hannah has known nothing but isolation of a single room and the secret that has kept her there for 17 years. When she meets fin Finnick, God, I'm having like Hunger Games flashbacks. The boy assigned to watch her. She realizes that there is a, there is a world she has yet to experience, but she is doomed to never meet. When crew members begin mysteriously dying, Hannah... Hannah and Finn realize that they are racing against the death of the ship to find a way to survive, unless someone kills them even before Hannah's truly had a chance to live. And that one is coming out also on November 6th, because everything's coming out on November 6th for like three books. <laughs> the next book that is coming out in November that I actually got at BookCon along with Girls of Paper Fire. Girls of Paper Fire was like my treasure from BookCon, I will tell you that right now. This is my second treasure. It is Empire of Sand by Tasha Suri. Um, this one seems really, really good, and I just, I love that cover. <laughs> I don't know why I'm, I'm drawn to pointy things, but this piques my interest. So, um, the synopsis reads, the Amrithi are outcasts, nomads, descendant of desert spirits. They are coveted and persecuted throughout the Empire for their power and their blood. Mir is an illegitimate daughter of an imperial governor and an exiled Am Am Amrithi, Amrithi mother. She can barely remember but whose face and magic she has inherited. When Mir's powers come to the attention of the emperor's most feared mystics, she must use every ounce of will, sub sub subtlety, and power she possesses to resist her cruel agenda. And should she fail, the gods themselves may awaken to seeking vengeance. Uh, sounds really, really cool. Um, I am, I don't know, this is like not at the, like at the top of my list, it's on my bookcase, my big like bookcase TBR, but eventually I do want to read it, it does sound good. Oh, and it is coming out, when are you coming out? When are you coming out? November 13th. The next one that I am like super, 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 super hyped for is Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I think this is on everyone's anticipated list. Um, it sounds a whole lot like World War, the uh, like Ender's Game and War of the Worlds. Um, the synopsis reads: Defeated, crushed, and driven almost to extinction, the rem the remnants of human race are trapped on a planet that is constantly attacked by mysterious alien starfighters. Spencer, a teenage girl living among them, longs to be a pilot. When she discovers the wreckage of an ancient ship, she realizes this dream may be possible. Assuming she can repair the ship, navigate flight school and perhaps most importantly persuade the strange machine to help her because this ship uniquely appears to have a soul and I like like this got flying and like the cover is like I, I know you can't see it but I'll put up like one of the like more classical covers looks like so much like world of the world and sci-fi and dystopian and destruction and death to humans all mankind I love it <laughs> and the last book in my November anticipated list is How She Died, How I Lived by Mary Crockett. Um, and I actually read this book. I thought it was pretty good. Um, it's really intriguing. Um, it's kind of like a mystery. So the synopsis says, I was one of five. The five girls Kyle texted that day. The girls could have, the girls it could have been. Only Jamie, beautiful saintly Jamie, was kind enough to respond and it got her killed. On the eve of Kyle's sentencing, a year after Jamie's death, all the other chosen ones are coping in various ways. But our tenacious narrator is full of anger, stuck somewhere between the horrifying past and the unknown future as she tries to piece together why she gets to live while Jamie is dead. Now she finds herself drawn to Charlie, Jamie's boyfriend, knowing all the while that their relationship will always be haunted by what-ifs and why-nots. Is hope possible in the face of such violence is forgiveness 
how do you go on living when you know it could have been you instead so this book like it it does really good at describing like survivor's guilt um and it it's like it's 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 good but the the um the way it's written is kind of weird to me um i think i would like to take another shot at it one day when i have time which i obviously don't right now um but yeah that is my anticipated list so what off my list is your anticipated is there something else that's coming out in november that you are excited to read send me a comment down below telling me and i will see you guys later whenever i decide to post another video again <laughs> see ya bye